is bullying to you? Bullying to me is negatively affecting somebody's life, purposely. In high school, we always talked about filling people's buckets. You want to say kind things to them and good things. If you say something negative, you're putting a hole in their bucket and the positive things are running out. What are the different types of bullying that you've seen or heard of? There's so many. Verbal, there's physical, there's... I like to think that it's the sarcastic bullying. They think you're being funny, but you're actually being serious. So you know, like, you're trying to hurt them, but they're brushing it off their shoulder until one day it finally gets to them. Like, just wear them down. Were you ever bullied growing up? Yeah, I, I was bullied in elementary school. Someone had pushed me down a snow hill and in middle school late for class because someone was bullying me and made us both late to class. So it was not a fun time. How did you overcome it? As I got older I realized that people who bully usually have a, a hard family life and I guess I just, I grew to understand them and that it, most of them aren't going to be bullies forever, so they can change. Do you think children are more likely to bully than people of other ages? Well, I think it depends on the age of the children. I feel like younger children in like kindergarten or preschool they have such innocent minds. They want to love each other and show affection. I feel like it comes all it comes more once they start realizing the differences in people. Are there differences in the bullying experiences of girls and boys? Yeah, I think boys tend to be more aggressive. I think boys do more physical bullying and harassment, and I think girls are more mental. They're more catty, um, oh, look at her hair and whatever, when boys hit more towards the physical aspect. Oh, good sports, or... Girls definitely gossip more than guys, although guys do some of that too. It's just different. When seeing a bully pick on someone, is the bystander effect very common, do you think? Yeah, I think sometimes people just don't know how to, how to interact, how to stop it. Um, they might want to. And, you know, maybe they don't stop the situation there and maybe they go and just tell a person of higher authority or whatever who can handle it, but... Yeah, and, yeah, they think someone else will do something about that, so they kind of just, I don't know, they think it's someone else's problem. In high school, you always talked about, or heard your teachers talking about, um, putting rocks in people's buckets. That you wanted to take things out of their bucket, right? Do you want to put things in their bucket or take it out? Is it good to put things in their bucket? I don't think it's good to put things in their bucket. I think it's good to take things out of their bucket. If you, you don't want to put, like, rocks in something. We can swap back and forth, like I can do one, you can do one, mm -hmm. like, right. you need to edit it. Mm -hmm. <coughs> <coughs> Were you ever bullied growing up? I don't want to do that because yeah. it's nothing. <laughs> you want to? Like two questions two each? Questions? Did you want to like go back and forth with them? Cause yeah, two questions you more. Each. For Calvin? Not right now, I can't think of any more. I'm just asking you a question. Oh yeah, I have, I have like okay. two, more, two or three more. Tag team. 
Can we do one with, like a question with both of you in the front? Yeah, uh, over a little. There we go. Okay. Perfect. Are there differences in the bullying experiences? Let me re-ask this. <laughs> Are there differences in the bullying experiences of girls and boys? Um. Yeah, I think boys tend to be more aggressive, as we know, all that testosterone. 